Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim and welcome to episode 2 of the Let's Play series here on Zilonka. So I hope you're all doing very well and having a good day. I just wanted to start out by giving all of you a massive thank you uh, for your particularly warm reception of episode 1 of this series. I'm so glad that you've all enjoyed it and found it fun. Um, I'm really grateful for all the wonderful comments I've received on the in the comments section obviously in the last video. Um, specifically, there's, there's one or two I wanted to, to bring a mention to. Um, just to say a thank you for, I suppose, just helpful tips in a way. Uh, the first one is Marcin88 or Mar Marcin88. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly in one of those two variants. Um, if you remember in the last episode when I was down at the dealership and I was uh, curious what the, the, the sp.zo.0.0 means um, in that title, it's actually the, the Polish equivalent of Limited. So if that was over here in the United Kingdom, it would be Barlex Limited. So, um, so yeah, I appreciate that info, mate. Thank you very much indeed. Um, greatly appreciative of that um and also to zero goki 1983 for your mod suggestions you sent me a, a few mod suggestions that were on the mod hub so I've, uh, I've taken a good look at those and i've got uh, got a few of them in the game now um I, you did send me a few there was a few suggestions there for some buys on harvesters which look really cool um but obviously because i've already got this one um i might stick with this for now but regardless there's a, there was a, there was quite a few there that i did find so i'm very grateful for uh, for you pointing me in that direction mate so again thank you very much so yeah um right so what have i done i have uh made oh no sorry forgot me there was one more thing i wanted to mention actually uh, a mistake i made in the last episode uh regarding this when i was going through the kit that i own uh this asaria type 6000s uh seed drill i mistakenly uh blurted out that this was base game and it isn't um this was done by a modder called driver 300 uh so please forgive me for that silly mistake uh shout out to driver 300 um for your hard work mate thank you very much indeed thought i'd better, better rectify that um so yeah and uh, and also there was a comment left to me which seems to have disappeared now strangely enough um but it was actually a very helpful bit of information that told me that uh, zilonka is actually a real place in poland i didn't actually realize that i didn't appreciate that um so yeah, um, it's actually it's in a place called Volumin City in the Masuvian Voivodeship in Poland. Uh, again, I hope I'm pronouncing those words correctly. Forgive me if I'm not. Um, but yeah, it just, it, for me now that that just adds an extra an extra bit of immersion to the whole the feel of the place. The fact that it is based on a real area in the world in Poland uh, just makes it even better, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I've been really excited to get back on here. I really have um, since the last episode last week. I've been very much looking forward to it. I have made a couple of changes. Uh, I did, uh, I suppose part of me did, I did dive in at the deep end, so to speak, when I set this place up. I did spend a bit of time setting it up, don't get me wrong. Obviously, I did a lot of alter alterations around the, the yard here and made it my own, as it were. Um, it just didn't take too long. Uh, but when it came to setting up the farm itself and buying the land, I, I, made, I, I made one kind of thoughtless mistake, I think. Uh, so initially, I purchased this field, field of corn, um, and... We don't actually. I knew I didn't, but I thought I, you know, I was just thinking on some. We could do something with it in the future, maybe rent or buy a, a corn header for the harvester. Um, but what I, the, the the mistake I made is that, or the, the mistake I felt I made, is one of the main attractions of this uh, premium expansion is the new crops. Now I have set myself up with all the kit for the new crops. We've got the ridge maker, we've got the planter, and we've got the harvester. But we don't actually have any fields with any of the crops in, and we don't have any. Um, any way of doing anything with them for quite a while so what i did was um the mistake i realized i'd noticed is this field here which is right by our farm is a field of red beet and it's almost ready to harvest so what i have done is i have sold the field of corn uh, for about 50 odd grand um i have taken out a loan of fifty thousand, and over five years so it's about 900 quid a month um and i bought this field so this is now ours um it's essentially it gives it gives me something some content to put towards uh to include the uh the new crops relatively early in the series as opposed to waiting for months and months and months before we actually can do anything with them at all because uh, we are within harvest season now of the new crops the, if i go into the uh into the the menus here now scroll down to the bottom yeah so august september october and a bit of november are harvest time for red beet carrots and parsnips if I hadn't made these changes, we wouldn't have been we wouldn't have been doing anything with them till April next year. So, yeah, I think that was a wise thing to do. Yes, fifty grand's a lot of money, but within the game, we've got the advanced that loan system mod, so it's uh, not paying a huge amount of interest. Um, 
as I say, it's about 900 quid a month, so I'm more than happy to take that hit. And, uh, yeah, know that uh, in the near future we will have some form of content to, to, to play with the new stuff, so I'm looking forward to that. So, yeah, right. Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to take on that contract. In fact, I'm going to do that now. Field 65, I think it is. We need to jump into the contract menu. There we go. Field 65, accept contract. Let's get that in the bag. So um, we're going to get that done today. Uh, we, do, we do only have the rest of today to do that because uh, obviously with us being in August and the first month of the game, um, I have changed the days per month to two, but that won't take uh, take effect till, uh, till next month. So we need to, yeah, we've, we've got uh, the rest of today to get that sorted. But what we're also going to do is we're going to get some... Uh, get started in a little bit of uh, field prep in our field here now this needs to be cultivated it needs to have a coat of lime which is going to mean a trip to the shop to buy some lime and uh yeah and get this ready and get drilling some canola in here because that's pretty much at the minute i think that's the only crop we can get into the ground really i'm not, I'm not going to do poplar or grass or also oil seed radish or anything like that the only one we can do is uh, is canola but i think it would be a good idea to get get our first crop into the ground as soon as possible we do obviously have these two fields to work on here um yeah i'm already in two minds whether to consider because they are i mean this one's not too bad of a size uh this one's quite small really so what i am already considering doing is essentially joining them both together just essentially plow straight across here and join them together but um yeah i'll i'm still going to mull that over i think it might be a good idea to do that the bigger field the better right um and another uh bit of info that i forgot to include in the last episode regarding our land uh we actually own all this grassland here um all the way up to, there's, a, there's an area of water i think down here somewhere just over this brow, I think. I'm not actually been this far yet. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we kind of own, if we, again, if I pop into the map, where are we? There we go. Go to farmland. Yeah, so we own essentially right up level to the uh, the top edge of that, uh, what was our cornfield there. So, and all around here. So I'm considering uh, creating a bit of a custom field here. I'm not going to I'm not going to do the whole area of land here because I do plan in the future I'd like to get some cows. I do have my eye on a really nice relatively small but beautifully authentic looking cow shed barn. It's an old stone cow barn. It only holds 15 cows I think. I don't think it has an exterior pasture either. I think they're just in the building. Um but it's a beautiful looking thing and it just looks so authentic and I'd very much like to uh, to pop that down here. I know 15 cows isn't going to bring us a huge amount of money or milk or any of that stuff but I think for the size of the place for now at least for starting off with some cows I think it would be ideal and we can always we can always buy another one in the future and increase so that so essentially what I'm saying is somewhere around here this side of the grassland here i'm going to try and keep at the minute as it is just to give me a bit of room for, for for planning and construction in the near future just give me some some place to place stuff down uh but as i say we do have quite a significant size of of land here that we can you know turn over and turn into some arable land no point in having it here doing nothing is there and it goes right up to pretty much about here it runs our the land we own runs level with the end of this cornfield here so essentially yeah all the way to the left from here so that's something that i can do map out a custom field using course play uh set the plow off but one step at a time can't do everything all at once can we so the first thing we're going to do today is we are going to run the cultivator in the ploughed field there. We're going to get a nice seed bed texture put down. We're going to use our wonderful IMT here because we didn't really get much use of that last episode. We spent most of it in the harvester and in the field, didn't we? So, yeah, let's get this wee beauty hooked up to the cultivator. my reversing skills. I have managed to squeeze the uh, forage wagon in here as well. Oh, I haven't quite gone far back enough. There we go. Yeah, I managed to uh, squeeze this thing in, in here. I haven't put the harvester back in here properly yet because I know we're going to be pulling that out again uh, a bit later on and get that job done. That uh, contract is taking 
to the farmer's market which we do have hooked up to the auto drive network so it means I can uh, display that in a bit of a cinematic form as I like to do make it look all fancy ish hopefully right anyway yeah let's crack on with the cultivating so I am going to do this one into a cinematic as well we'll get a course play set up with this uh, we're going to run the we're going to run the field centers first then finish off with the headlands and then I think after that we're going to need to pop to the shop pick up a few bags of lime I'd imagine with it being a particularly unprepped field where we are pH value of 6.125 so yeah it is going to take quite a decent amount of lime to be fair so um of the £12,251 that we have in the bank I think a couple, of, a good couple of grand is going to be spent on some lime but it's got to be done the soil needs its uh, pH value sorting out so anyway, right, yeah get this, uh, get this job done, get it put into a cinematic and I shall see you all when it's done There we go. One beautifully cultivated field. I am very happy with this cultivator. It works really, really well. This tractor drags it along perfectly fine. No problems at all. It does sit quite low on the hitch when it's when the tool's lowered down and it's in the soil. It does seem to sit quite low in places, but uh, 
Maybe that was just the lay of the ground as well. I'm not too sure. But either way, it performed admirably. It's a decent width. It only took about 25 minutes to get that job done. So very happy with that. And I'm very happy with this tractor as well. It's an absolute weapon, if I'm honest. So what's next? I think the correct order in which to do things now is I need to get a little bit more money into the bank. Um, so that's going to mean cracking on with the harvest over there and feel 65 and get that all taken over to the farmer's market and see what we can make on top of the uh, the wage that we've been told for the job itself. Because what I want to do, I do need to make some a couple more purchases. I need, I need, to, uh, I need to get some lime obviously, to increase the pH value of the soil here in our first field, uh, and I need to get some seeds so we can drill our canola. Now, ordinarily, that would mean a trip to the shop um, to grab a few uh, a few of those, but what I actually would like to do, um, at the minute, we've got 12,251 quid. The wage for the harvesting contract is uh, just over four, I think, 4,300, I think. Let's have a quick check. Uh, 4,349. Uh, so 16, just over 16 and a half thousand we'll have in the bank after that, plus what we might get for selling any extra crops that we might uh, benefit from, from the harvest job itself. Um, but what I've got in mind is, uh, if I pop into the construction menu and show you what I have in mind, go to the containers. Uh, I've had this pack installed for quite a while uh, by Puma 145, and it's some lovely, uh, essentially, tanks. We've got, uh, we've got one for water, lime, and oh, we've got two water ones. Um, a seed one, a fertilizer, and a diesel tank. Now, obviously, I'm not going for all of them quite yet just yet. The ones I want are the seed tank and the lime tank. So I can essentially have these uh, containers on the farm somewhere. But they're a really nice, rustic old... If I could zoom in, you can have a look at them. Yeah, just I think that, again, they just suit the, uh, they suit the farm, I feel, perfectly well. So I'm planning on placing a couple of these down. This one and the lime tank here. Again, lovely thing, don't you think? nice and uh, patinaed um so yeah i'm going to uh, I, i'd like to place these down near the farm um on the farm and uh, i'll be able to uh, top up with seed and lime at, uh, to my heart's content essentially without having to worry about running out and making uh, making more and more trips back into to the store so together they're going to cost probably somewhere it says five thousand each but obviously we all know the cost a little bit more now and again when you have to land uh, when you have to do a bit of terraforming when you place something down uh, so yeah, so I'm looking to spend maybe about 11,000 on those two uh, items uh, and then obviously plus whatever seed and fertilizer, uh, seed and lime we need after that. Um, so money, that's what I need. Start off with and get cracking with that. So let's get this thing out of the field, get it back over to the farm just behind us. We need to get the, I think I might stick with this to note for now. So we'll hook this up to the trailer. We'll get the harvester in the field. Let's see if I can uh, test my reversing skills here. Straight line it. It does just fit very nicely through the door, I think. Come yeah, on. Oh. Rubbed the edge there slightly, didn't it? But that'll do. Right. There we go. So. Yeah, as I say, we'll get this thing hooked up to the trailer, we'll get the harvester in the field. I am going to pop it into another cinematic. Just to make it look presentable, instead of just uh, getting it done off camera. There we go. Oh, goodness me. Brakes aren't quite as responsive as expected. Yeah, you see that one's got quite a... it does, does have quite a low hitch, doesn't it? It should be okay. He says... <laughs> yeah, it does seem to uh, fit quite low. You know what, maybe we'll take the Fiat just to be safe. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure there's no issues whatsoever, but I think so that that trailer's not uh, being towed nose down, as it were, I think we'll uh, we'll jump in the Fiat. We'll get this one hooked up instead. See there, that's just a, it's, it's kind of the other way, isn't it? It kind of sits maybe a little bit high, but maybe that's just me being pedantic. It's uh, that's better, I would say. So, 
let's get this thing over to the field. I have connected field 65 up to the auto drive network, so hopefully this should just be able to make its own way when I tell it to. It's not done very well, is it? Oopsie daisy. So let's uh, send this to field 65. Off we go. See how it uh, negotiates this corner. Have I dialed down its corner speed? I have. I need a 70, but... There we go. Right. Okay. So, right, we're going to crack on with this. As I said before, I'll put it into a cinematic and I shall join you back very soon, hopefully with a bit of a report as to how much we've made extra on top of the contract. So, see you all very soon. Right, 
There we go. Job done. I think we'll let this one go first, shall we? Get around the corner so we're not slowing him up. He's just making his way back to the farm. So yeah, we didn't do uh, we didn't do too bad. We didn't do great. Obviously, we're not expecting thousands and thousands of pounds from that. But uh, what we did get was on top of the wage for the contract, which we haven't actually turned in yet. Uh, we got one thousand two hundred and seventy-seven pounds, um, and we even got a, a, an environmental score award as well of thirteen. So that's pretty decent. Um, right, I'm not going to try and reverse in here this thing in here in cab. Let's. Do it from here, shall we? So I'm not smashing into any walls. But I'll do for now. There we go. Right, yeah. So, 1277 quid on top of the contract, which we're going to turn in right now. So let's crawl down. There we go. Collect. Brilliant. So, we now have £17,890. So that's excellent. Um... So, what that does mean is that I'm now in a position to be able to afford to buy those two uh, fill points, tip, uh, uh, buy points, whatever you call them, the, uh, the lime tank and the seed tank. I'm going to place them down somewhere on that side of the lane um, and then build in a little bit of a lane to, to drive to and from so that the vehicle can get back into during field work. So, yeah, I'm going to knuckle down to that. And I shall pick you all back up very shortly when, uh, I think, once those things are set up, I'll be then setting the one of the tractors off in this field to get limed and, and then get seeded. So, I'll pick you all back up in a matter of moments. Okay, right, there we go. Added those onto the farm. I think you'll agree they look pretty good, don't you think? Nice and old and a bit worn. A bit of patina. Can't beat a bit of patina. So this is the lime tank. And this is the seed tank. So quite simply, that's all we need at the minute. So I have I've added them in, as you can see, I've painted in this little lane. It kind of it, it turns left here and goes around, comes around on itself, and comes out back down along here. So that's sorted there, and I have um done my very best to wire it into the uh, the auto drive network as it were. So Let's get the spreader hooked up to the IMT. Should be able to... There we go. Squeeze in there. Hook PTO. Lift it up. There we go. Let's pull it out of here a minute, shall we? Okay, so... As you all know, I do like to do a bit of automation, so... Let's get this sorted, shall we? So we've got the course play course set up there already for that field. And so what we want to do is we want to go to the load mode. We're going to be working in field 59. I've actually got that put into the correct folder there, but we'll do that in a minute. Field 59, we're going to fill up at the lime tank. We're going to fill up with lime. We want course play and auto drive to talk to each other. So we, we click the course play button there, but because we're not in the field yet, we're going to get auto drive to do its thing first so this should send itself to the lime tank first fingers crossed three two one yes excellent and it says it's going to take 25 seconds to get there so it must be plotting the correct route so let's just follow it along for the sake of checking that we've got it right because when it does work right it's brilliant it really is so i should turn a right yep it's indicating right so that's good i just hope i've got the uh the fill nodes in the correct place it should know to go through the seed one because it's aiming for the lime one so come on do me proud there we go right it's going past that one excellent so let's see how much this costs shall we have to fill up with lime per tank da, 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 da. 269 pounds okay that's not too bad that's not too bad so he's going to turn around here. He's taking a bit of a wide arc there. Maybe I might have to alter the, pave, the, the painting of the road just to allow for that. But it's now taking itself to field 59. Indicating right. Good stuff. I should just pull into the field here. There we go. 
and then when you get hits its destination it's going to send off the course play there we go excellent stuff oh that's brilliant right okay that seems to be working fine i'm just hopeful that it's uh not going to take too i know not going to take too much lime i know it will take quite a bit to be honest an empty field always does doesn't it we're all no stranger to that especially this one having a 1,200 litre capacity it's going to empty itself quite quickly so I'd imagine it's going to uh, take several fill-ups so I shall leave you be and I'll pick you back up when the job's finished essentially now I know that the uh, auto drive network and the fill-up point is working fine I shall pick you back up when the job's done right so there we go one job well done. And there's that bug again. I've had this in a couple of other series before where my character just stays in the tractor. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what causes that, but it's now been apparent on... I've had it on court farms. Um, yeah, seen that a few times. Ah, well. Makes no difference. So, yeah, all limed. So this is ready for a good drilling. Uh, now, I think... Initially, in my mind, I was going to try and get that get this drilling done uh, towards the end of this episode, but I think what I might do is um, leave that for the beginning of the next episode and do something a little bit creative with it and do a bit of a, a cinematic, as I like to do. Uh, but what I did want to point out to you all um, was the scope that we've got on this farm. Um, I hadn't really properly acknowledged what the kind of land that we've got, so if I... Just jump into the PDA. As you can see there, there we have this field beautifully limed now. Uh, and quite nicely, we've got 1%. I think we've got about 12 litres left in the tank, so that's gone uh, very, very well. We've spent in total, what do we have now? So we're at 6,260 at the minute. We have spent, uh, bear with me, so that, uh, take away 6,260. 1,619 pounds on lime. Sorry, that was me just doing a very quick calculator on my phone then. I forgot to do it before I click, clicked record on this one. Uh, yeah, so 1,620, uh, 1620 quid was spent on line for this field, so that's not so bad at all. Yeah, sorry, the scope that we have. So going into the map PDA, clicking on farmland, we actually own all of this. Now, obviously, I know I pointed out earlier in the video that I plan on uh, popping a bit of a field in here, um, which would be great. And that's the... Uh, definitely a good idea but obviously we've got all of this land here as well in it i think it'd be stupid to not do anything with it so on top of that comes the opportunity to do a bit of logging a bit of tree chopping down which means getting myself a chainsaw some form of logging trailer so i can cart them back and to to wherever needs to wherever they need to be taken to but yeah all of this stuff is ours and we might be able to get a good few quid for these trees mightn't we wood can be quite uh, lucrative now and again can't it on this game so there might be a good session here for logging. Um, and as I say, yeah, we own the land to the, side, the other side of this lane as well, over here. And also this bit over here, which is going to lend itself very, very nicely to a great big field, wouldn't you say? If I jump into construction mode, just so we can get a bit of a better view of it all. Yeah, all of this here. This is all ours. Admittedly, the machinery we've got at the minute might be especially the plough when it comes to creating the field. The plough is going to take a very long time to carve a field out of this thing. Um, but I might or I might already, when the money allows me, because I know I am quite poor at the minute, uh, but when the money allows me, I might get rid of that plough straight away and get something a, a, a more of a square-shaped plough to allow a neater creation of fields. That's always been my personal preference on this game when it comes to creating fields. Instead of using the offset ploughs, use something that's square with a with a nice flat edge to it so uh, the fields you create can be nice and neat. But yeah, we've got a huge amount of scope. As I say, yeah, lots of logs to chop, lots of trees to chop down. Um, whether I chop them all down, I don't know, but I think it'd be a good idea to make good use of the uh, of the wood maybe not this maybe not this section in the middle perhaps because it's as i say it's a bit in the middle i'm not going to mess around with the lane here or remove that um but i don't know let me let me know what you think I'm, i i think i'm definitely going to carve a field into this thing here uh make some make something good of this land i might keep these trees here and i think i might get rid of these trees here and make another field so we could have we could have a field pretty much about here 
we're going to have a bit more construction going on there with the cow barn and uh, there is still a fertilizer fill up point that I'd like to purchase and place down there to include into that little section um, but yeah potentially put a field into here give or take a bit yeah we can squeeze one in definitely squeeze one in there and put a big whopper in here that'd be pretty cool but that would definitely mean that we need to increase the size of our equipment because uh, this thing's great. I think it's actually, I think it's twelve meters wide, so the the spread on it, so uh, it does the job. But as the fields get bigger, the equipment should get bigger as well, shouldn't it? So, but anyway, right. So I think I am going to call it here for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we've got a bit done. We've done our contract that we said we were going to do. We've placed a couple of. Uh, fill points down which I think look really quite nice I appreciate that's fully personal opinion there but yeah I think they look quite uh, cool. they suit it they look very apt I feel um, yeah so yeah thank you very much for watching everyone I really do hope you've enjoyed the episode and found it even remotely fun and interesting as always, if you're new to my channel and you like the, my content, you like the way I'm doing things, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the channel. Um, give the video a like if you have liked it, of course. And, and of, of course, if you've got any suggestions or comments for me, please hit me up in the comments section below. Um, and I am a Giants partner, so if any of you are in the market for a DLC, an add-on, a season pass, or even the game itself, or this premium expansion, uh, there will be a link for each individual one in the video description below. Um, if you fancy helping a content creator out, I would be, as always, hugely appreciative. So thanks again, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode.